Hey guys, so today I got for y'all Deku. Yes, my Hero Academia video. It's been a while since I did one. The last one I did was with Bakugo, and it was pretty much just Inosuke versus Bakugo. So today I got for y'all how strong is Izuku Midoriya really? Now, this scale will be going over Deku from his very current self all the way back to the beginning. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a red subscribe button. Uh, thanks, and uh, let's get into this video right now. Izuku Midoriya, also known as Deku, was one of the 20% of people on Earth to be born without a quirk, a natural superpower that is a basic biological function in the modern society, earning him endless amounts of torment and bullying in school. Even still, he dreamed of becoming an amazing hero like his lifelong idol All Might, the number one hero of his country. That impossible dream became a reality after a chance meeting with All Might who granted Deku his quirk. Now on his path to becoming the greatest hero, Deku battles nefarious villains, endless schoolwork, and his inner demons to become a worthy successor to the symbol of peace. And of course, for all the people that don't know who Deku is, that was kind of the point of that summary because, you know, there are a lot of people that are going to click on this video with the intention of just trying to figure out what the heck, you know, is Deku and like how strong is he because of those reasons. So I felt that it would be the most sensible thing to do to just cover the whole thing in its entirety right off the bat. When looking at Deku, he has superhuman physical characteristics, skill hand-to-hand -hand combat, and acrobats, supernatural willpower, power bestowal, mana manipulation, and power absorption. Although these are very incredible abilities and whatnot, let's talk about his air manipulation because he can generate air pressure with his attacks and create tornadoes. Let's look at Deku's attack potency and speed, which are normally what most people are concerned about when it comes to scaling, since these are the two things that matter. For Deku's attack potency, we're taking it all the way back to the beginning of the series and then going on further. Now, this will be a long section of attack potency, so hope you guys are strapped in. Let's get into this right now. When looking at Deku's attack potency, we can start him off at city block level because he can break through a victory bot using a metal plate, which can withstand explosions as powerful without a scratch. Higher with 5% can drop kick a massive steel beam able to harm Bakugo who can withstand the power of, a, of massive explosions. Consider 5% a minor increase in strength. Then we can say he's multi-city block level with Delaware Smash. Large island level plus with 100% as powerful as All Might during the events two heroes who is this powerful. Then we can say he's multi-city block level because he has been training for almost a whole year making him much stronger than before. It was stated that Phantom Thief's limbs would have exploded if he had managed to use the full power of one for all. While Deku's more trained body is able to wield it without blowing his limbs off, Phantom Thief is several times weaker than 8%. Mon Monoma can harm base Kirishima. Then we can say small town level with 8% because several times stronger than Monoma and who can harm Kirishima. His ace catapult with Bakugo managed to push 9 back. Then we can say small city level with 20% far stronger than his 10% form of his Hauser impact, large country level with 100%, far stronger than before, this uh, dispressed Nin's massive storm with a shockwave alongside Bakugo, I mean Nine's massive storm with a shockwave alongside Bakugo, then we could say large town level because has strengthened his body to allow him to handle 10% without harming his body, meaning that his 10% shouldn't be much stronger than his base, however 10% should be compared to Bakugo. Large Town Level Plus with 15% broke through uh, Fleck Turns Reflect, which his 10% couldn't do. Uh, small City Level with 20% harmed a villain that could withstand Bakugo's house or impact, and his St. Louis Smash was shown to be comparable to it. Large Country Level with 100%. Small City Level has become far stronger since his first fight with Muscular, allowing him to will 30% as used to do with 5% in the past likely meaning that the power boost from 30% is marginal, also doesn't use 20% at all anymore, likely meaning that he has surpassed it, even in base, higher with 30%. Considerably stronger than his 20% scales to Gran Torino, who survived an air cannon, as well as caught All Might, who had been launched by a massive attack by All for One. Then we can get him to saying he's large country level with 45%. He possesses enough strength to restrain Shigaraki, who was said to just be as powerful as All Might and equal to the USJ Namu. Could be comparable to near end Namu that survived the uh, Timid missiles. It's superior to Endeavor, who contributed to, uh, to creating a massive uh, Procumulus cloud, at least continental level 100%, far superior to its previous 1%. A single hit at 100% could dislocate Shigaraki's jaw. 
comparable to All Might in his prime, higher with uh, Jin can store his kinetic energy and release it for burst of power and speed. Now, at the end of uh, Deku scaling, we have him at, at least continental level with his 100% power because he was far superior to his previous 100% and a single hit at 100% could dislocate Shigaraki's jaw. Now, with that being said, we can move on to Deku speed, which just like the attack potency is a lot. So hold on there. When looking at Deku's speed, he starts off with an athletic human because he's able to run on power Bakugo. A hypersonic reactions and combat speed superior to Minata, who can dodge whip attacks, can react to Shoto's ice, which can move at these speeds. Then we can say massively hypersonic plus with 100% could dodge Nine's lightning at close range, far faster than his 20%, at least supersonic travel speed, massively hypersonic combat and reaction speed shouldn't be too much slower than his 10%. Then we can say at least hypersonic plus combat and reaction speed faster than before. At least massively hypersonic because combat and reaction speed with 30% superior to his speed of 20%. Then we can say relativistic with 100%. His Fox 100% was capable of blitzing a bullet from Lady Nagget, whose bullets were previously proven difficult for Deku to evade at 45%. Should also be faster than Star and Stripe, who caught a laser from 100 meters away, and uh, Shigaraki's radio waves, as well as Shigaraki from the same fight, who could also react to the lasers higher with Fajin. This means that Deku's max speed is relativistic, and that means that his strongest uh, attack potency is continent level. With that being said, guys, that's going to do it for this um, video. Uh, you can say Deku is higher with Fajin um, for all of these uh, stats, but they're not going to boost his like rating of like destruction or anything. So yeah, that's going to be like it for the most basic scaling of Deku. He's going to be continent level. Once say that one more time, and relativistic. If you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you did learn something about, uh, you know, uh, Deku. If you guys use this video with, in a debate with your friend, I hope you do. Uh, Deku's journey is not over, so he might get stronger than he is now. But as of current right now, that's how strong Deku is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll never be able to say this enough. I'll never be able to say this enough. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a nice day. And um, I'm out.